Look at this background. Seems like only yesterday I started making this thing. Ah, yes, the skull. Good times. Wonder what it, other people think of it. Time to make a 3D background. The materials required for this installation would be styrofoam, great stuff expansion foam, water stop cement, and don't forget your silicone. Optionally, you can use fiberglass resin and acrylic paint. To begin, we mark the height that we'll need the styrofoam to sit at. Cut the styrofoam down to size. Be sure styrofoam sits in the back of your tank the way it's supposed to. For this particular background, I was making a lot of This tank was going to have a monitor sitting on the back of it, so in the background I need to cut a, a space to see the monitor through. Lining up the styrofoam in the back of the tank, I marked out exactly where the hole was going to be. If I had it to do over again, I would have left the edges of this cutout round. The primary goal of this background, I wanted to make a sort of a pirate cave kind of theme. So I was going to make stalactites coming down. Had I left the edges round, it would have worked very well with the stalactite theme. And now for a little fit test to make sure that the styrofoam overlaps the frame around the monitor, but doesn't. with some great stuff expansion foam. The purpose here is to make a background look kind of like stalactites. I hope it comes out like I intended. Oh yeah, I forgot that I wanted to angle off the edges. And here I am trying to angle it off now with this uh, expansion foam already in here. My razor. Don't be like me. Angle your edges before you start adding texture. If you're one of the few of my followers who watched this, my first Amazon unboxing video, you may recognize where I got this skull from. There it is! Ha! And back to this background video. As you can see, the expansion foam, much of it has set and expanded. I've even sanded some of it down a little to make it look a little more like stalactites. Currently on the skull, I'm cutting the back piece off so it can fit the corner the way it's supposed to. You might even say, I'm doing brain surgery. <laughs> And now we're back to more expansion foam. More expansion foam. More, more, more.
Once the expansion foam has cured and hardened and all that good stuff, expand it out, it's time to take your little Dremel tool and go over all of the areas of the background to try and hollow out what you need, like in this case we have a skull, and also to try and shape your stalactites. You want to put a cave in, you can't have a cave without the stalactites. For my skull, I wanted red glowing eyes, so I found these little LEDs that are waterproof on Amazon. I'll link a description down below. It took some adjustment to get it right. Now the fun part, time to mix the concrete. I've stopped carefully measuring the water to concrete ratio at this point, but you're just supposed to keep it kind of soupy, and for your first coat, you want the concrete to be extra soupy so that it sinks into the crevices. With a disposable brush, brush the concrete onto your background. With the first coat completed and dried, it's time to start your second coat. The second coat goes on thicker than the first coat, so make sure you let this dry a little longer. You may want to do a third coat, or even a fourth if you're up to it. Just doing a little test fit here and well somebody came to visit and check it out check out my work for me there are several options for adding color to your background lots of people like to use uh, concrete pigment in the last layer coated on i thought i would try acrylic paint acrylic is fish safe it dries kind of like a little plastic coating I just get to experiment, and plus there's a lot more colors with acrylic than there is with uh, concrete pigments.
once all is dry, you can silicone it in place to the back of your tank. And there you have it, your 3D aquarium background. Uh, additional considerations, you can use the fiberglass resin to try and seal it in. But that also blocks beneficial bacteria from growing. So you might not want to, but it's up to you really. <laughs>